Good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever time you're watching this video, how are you? <clears throat> My name is Angel Lemus. Um, I'm a real estate agent, working in Long Island, the boroughs, just not in the city. Okay. So, today I got a new video. Um, I haven't posted in a while, but don't worry about that. It's 2022. We got a whole new lineup for you guys, so take it easy so today <clears throat> i'm pretty gonna go over the basic three things that i see when it comes to buying a house that people don't understand or at a young age you understand because it's something that you weren't taught or um something people didn't go over with you i understand <clears throat> at a young age i wasn't taught certain things too so this is why i make this video to explain you know the three key factors i look at um, not what well, me, but three key factors I see on people that they don't see. Okay, so let's start. So, one of the biggest pro problems, not problems, issues, I can say, I see people not understanding is um, making money all cash. Angel, what do you mean all cash? I'm making a thousand dollars straight to my pocket. I don't have to worry about paying the IRS. That might be a problem. Why? <clears throat> okay. When it comes to buying property, financing a car, um, what else? Renting. People go off of um, how much money you make yearly. Okay, cool. It's just $1,000. They pay you again $1,000, again $1,000, again $1,000. At the end of the year, you've made $12,000 all cash. Nice, straight to your pocket. IRS don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> Those $12,000 could have went to the amount of money you made throughout the year and up the amount of money you can, you qualify for a house. You, know, you see what I'm saying? So <clears throat> let's say you qualify, let's say you, you claim $40,000. Okay, cool. $40,000, I claimed $40,000 for my account. I made $40,000 this year. They claimed it. They uh, saw the IRA, so I made $40,000. $40, cool. With those 12, you could have upped it to $52,000. All right? So now with the 40, you want to buy the house. You're like, wait, I only pre-qualified for $450,000. With the 52, Oh, now I qualify for 500. Now I qualify for 550. Those aren't the exact numbers. I'm not a mortgage lender. I have to crunch the numbers. But you see what I'm saying. So when it comes to making money on cash, you know, saving it, you know, always tell, you know, your account and try to if you, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You don't have to listen to me. But it's always important to, you know, try to tell the IRS how much you make. Because when it comes to buying a house, that's what they go off of. Two years of that. Two years of those taxes. So, always good. Not always, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. When it comes to buying a house, you want to claim your money. You want to claim a lot in your taxes. That's bottom line. When it comes to renting a house, too, they go off of how much you make monthly. So, <clears throat> and then you can check. They usually check yearly you know, how much you make. Oh, he makes this much. He qualifies for the house. So, always take that into consideration when it comes to, you know, doing your taxes. When it comes to, you know, you feel like you're ready to buy the house. Take that into consideration. Number one. All right. Number two. This is one of the biggest, um, I can't say problems, but biggest things that you guys will hear if you're seeing watching this video whatever age you are 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 100 whatever age you are okay you want to start off you want to have your credit start your credit okay build it up and just just keep it leveled make it go up keep making it go up keep making it go up keep making it go up credit is one of the most important assets when it comes to anything anything if you have a good credit score you'll be good so listen <clears throat> when it even comes to buying a house 
interest payment goes down on the higher credit you have, okay? So the higher your credit, the lower the interest payment. That's what I know. At least I, that's what I've learned, okay? Higher credit, lower interest payment. Cool, okay? Even when it comes to buying a car, when it comes to renting a house, if you don't, if you don't make the amount that you're supposed to make, let's say that they're the how you're renting a house for a studio one thousand three hundred dollars. Cool. On paper, you only make a thousand two hundred, but your credit score is seven fifty, seven sixty. The landlord would look at that, and be like, "Oh, okay, this person likes to pay on time. This person's very responsible," and they would maybe considering those two things give you the the, the, the rental. So. You know, keeping a good credit score is always important. I just want everybody to know, if you didn't, please, you know, start building credit. Um, some people are afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. It's a tool, you know, if you have a good credit score, you can do a lot. So please, that's one. That's number two. And I hope you guys take that into consideration. And it's one of the most important things. And this is number three. This is the more towards the real estate side when you want to buy a house and, you know, that. So, number three is always wanting to, you know, have a good relationship with your accountant, no matter what it is. Um, talk to them when it comes to, you know, time to wanting to buy the house, um, time to do your taxes. Explain to them, you know, oh, next year I want to buy a house. Because you it takes two years of taxes um, to buy a house. So, <clears throat> if you have the two years of taxes, if you want to increase your taxes, um, talk to your uh, accountant. Have them increase your taxes. Have them do whatever, whatever they have to do. Cause I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant. I don't know what they do. But talk to them. Say, oh, I want to buy a house, and you know, give them the plan. Run it down with them. Give them, let them give you the options on what you know you can do with them. They can have do for you. And yeah, always talk to your accountant when it's almost time to buy the house, when you feel like you're ready, when you feel like you got the down payment, uh, closing costs, and everything. And um, yeah, just talk to your accountant, have them give you feedback. Um, you know, let them tell you, you know, what number, you know, they, you, they feel that you should come in at to claim and, you know, always have a good relationship. Obviously, I'm not nobody special to tell you what to do. You know, you can take this video, you can listen, and you can, you know, use all of these words and put them into work, or you can take it and not really use them. But obviously, hope you guys enjoyed, you know, me trying to explain to you three things that I feel like, like you know, people should know, people should do. Obviously, you don't have to do them, but... It's always good to, you know, have the knowledge and know what to do and know what questions to do and know what to do with certain things, if you guys understand what I'm saying. But it's um, Angel Lemus, um, the real estate agent, Long Island, five boroughs. Talk to me. Talk to you later.